Kingdom Day 147 on my free to play account and we're on 24.8 million power which is not bad obviously I had a real good start to this account but I've had two weeks holiday now and two weeks before the kids went back to school so I have been a bit quiet on this account but I have been logging in grabbing my daily gold heads I've now got a total of what's in the bank uh, 302 so it's slowly moving forward we're not halfway expertised yet on uh, a new commander but that's a bit in the bank and let's have a little look at what happens in kvk1 then we're going to say goodbye to some of the content that's leaving us and hello to some of the new content that we have so let's go to season kvk1 now the bottom line is we lost it was 3v1 and we were never going to win but we gave 08 a good fight and had some fun there uh 06 put up a good fight and we didn't really engage 07 i think i guess which was a bit sad i was a bit sad for 07 um i think we could have put up a bit more of a fight but instead it was chosen to just conserve our accounts and and farm so that was a bit of a fizzle out at the end there. Apparently, though, even with a two-week holiday, I got more kills than 98% of other players, which is seems a bit interesting. I'm not too sure whether that's for the game as a whole or just that KVK. If you know the answer to that, let me know. Um, your forces. Oh, one day I got 671, so I had a good fun that day. Uh, healed more than I thought I killed so my trade wasn't overall good but I did kill off my siege so probably I am in a positive trade once you took my siege out of that uh, 541,000 killed but of course a lot of that was siege so that figure's not quite right there is still a lot of tier 4 in there but that figure's not quite right I don't really uh I kind of forgot what a Barbarian con Killing Contest KVK1 is. Part of me says maybe Sun Tzu isn't the way forward. We should all just go Bella and concentrate on having five Peacekeepers for KVK1 as a free-to-play. But I did enjoy having a viable march. But maybe if I restarted, I'd have a think that maybe Bella is the way forward. Because he's a Peacekeeper as well. He's always going to have some use. We got the most kills, which is pointless. Um, and we built some flags and burnt some of theirs. And we got the number one for kills, but gain, there's no reward for that. I'm still not fully on board with kill points. I feel there should be a feature in the game where we have our VIP. We should also have underneath that rank and kill points translate into rank. So uh i got two and a half million kill points that puts me in the top 98 percent and i would get like rank captain and that would give me some buffs but to maintain that rank of captain i'd have to continue fighting so i think something should happen with kill points but uh i am told they're very important and i'll regret not having a few by the time i get to season of conquest because it's how of course your place is governed in the alliance what else is going on well not a lot uh i'm a bit sad that sunset canyon as part of the game seems to have died for me now i there's no level of skill or grinding that could beat a team that looks like this when you've just finished kvk1 it's just beyond anything uh, it's no longer a matter of skill or fun i mean toying with the with the new whales in in early sunset canyon is a large part of my my channel but uh it's just that's just history now when you look at teams like this which is a shame that's just part of the game now that has gone i will still continue my fights but i have to admit i tend to not even look or place my troops or i haven't bothered with armaments either um but I can certainly get top 100, I would hope. But that seems to be part of the game that has died for me there. As well as Expedition, which is part of the game which I really enjoy. But 
uh, I don't really feel like pushing it any further because I don't feel there's any reward. I mean, why has Airfall Fled not been changed to another commander for season two? Or it, it doesn't seem to have any, it doesn't seem to scale with the game. The, the, uh, yes, I'm farming gold. I'm farming gold stars and I'll get Ethel Fled expertise and she's got a hundred heads to go or something. But um, it just seems to be part of the game that hasn't scaled with me. And I'm just very, I don't really, I collect it obviously every day, but I'm just not finding that these two parts of the game have scaled with me and they're no longer things that I'm interested in doing. But we have gained, of course, um, armaments which is uh, not the same sort of content. I mean, the Expedition and the Suntic Canyon had a lot of game knowledge in them, and the rewards uh, in the early game were brilliant, but now, of course, the rewards of armament is far greater than anything I can get from Sunset or or Expedition, but um, it just feels a bit random, I don't understand why you'd get a, an item that has two different march speeds of two different marches. That seems a bit cruel for me, to me. That Why would they mix march speeds on these? I mean, I understand it's random. Um, but I have had a few good armaments if I was an Archer account. But I'm not an Archer account. Uh, I need somebody to explain this to me, though. So let me just find that. Uh, where is it? There we go. So that's Archer. Two, three, four, five percent extra. That's pretty solid. And then I got up here to the legendary Archer one I've got. Less than five percent. Okay. So these obviously these inscriptions must be very valuable because the blue is better than this at the moment. Before I've got the inscription, is that normal? Or have I just been unlucky? Is that a particularly good blue item? So let me know. But I guess these inscriptions must be wonderful. But I haven't got any yet. But I'm grinding away. And it's a new part of the game for me to experience. But I don't feel I'm putting anything... I couldn't make a video on armaments. It's just random and luck. Um, obviously having gems ready to upgrade your state forum was useful. I'm at level 18. I think I went straight to 16 uh, so I could get the um, dispatches. When did dispatches come in? Was it 16? Um, so dispatches comes in at... Oh, at 10. So I went straight to 10. But then I think I pushed it on to, say, 15. And then we just had more than gems. And I've pushed it on to 18 during the two days of more than gems. So other than that... Uh, I haven't really got any tips to give you, but maybe I will watch a video later. But I just seem to be missing whatever the tips are there. And it doesn't feel like solid content compared to Expedition. Losing Sunset and Expedition and gaining um, State Forum hasn't really felt like a fair trade. But I'm going to keep pushing on with the game and hopefully KVK2 is going to be a lot of fun. Um, once I've got this account back on its feet, I'll try and get back in the top alliance. Uh, I think they removed me because the truth is I wasn't being very active and I only got 25 million kill points. But hopefully I can sneak back in when they've got extra space. Or well, certainly when the fighting starts in KVK2, when they just want people that are active. Although... To try and get my mojo back or my interest in the game, I think what I'm going to try and do is drop an account back to KVK1 and try with a uh, Bella March. But I... Uh, let's just do... I don't know why I'm spending AP, but let's just do that. So I'm going to do that now. So let's go on to an old account character unfortunately my looper was zeroed for the crime of being in zone one uh, which is a nuisance but it does mean I've got eight thousand five minute speed ups to spend and hopefully I can put together a cavalry march so let's loop this account 
Uh, it looks like I'm going to a weak kingdom, so it would be a good job that I've got a lot of march speed. And uh, let's see, perhaps if we can have some fun. It doesn't really matter though, as you say. So this account was zeroed. Uh, it had a quite a few hundred thousand troops, unfortunately, well over its um, well over its uh, limit. Let's have a little look. System. So it lost twenty five. 140, 200 odd, I like 250,000 troops, but I got some back and 8,000 uh, five minute speed ups. So hopefully I'll be able to use those to get some troops back. I of course urgently need a full cavalry march because KVK has already started. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to do much barbarian killing, so. But Bella on this account is not 60 yet either, but is expertised and has the full march speed equipment, which is 16, an extra 20% there. And also I've done the talents for max speed. So we've got the 9% there, the, where is it, 9 there, the 6 there, where is it? The six there, uh, when you leave a building, 60. Then the another six there, another six there. So as much march speed as I could put onto this uh, Bella. And hopefully I'm going to have some fun with him. I'm going to do a crime against uh, gold heads and spend some on um, Cow Cow here. I, of course, want them... To not land here, but instead land here. He's got 3% march speed at the moment. So, everybody cross your fingers. Come on. Come on. Come on. 4.5%. Boom. Yes. 4.5%. Let's have to another one. 4.5 goes to 6%. We want that 6%. Cross your fingers. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, never mind. That will help with killing barbarians, but that's a little bit of extra march speed as well. Close your eyes though. Oh, I need to expertise him. I'm sure I'll be able to do that in no time at all. Only 35 heads to go. And this, so this account has the option to go to, um, where are we going? We're gonna go to an Indonesian main alliance Kingdom Day 86 in 355, who are a couple of days into, um, oh, let's see if I can spin that. Can I upgrade something? No, that's 10. What do I need? Maybe in my towers? No. Uh, oh, hospital will probably be the best. I can't upgrade a hospital at the moment because I'm using them. Oh, it looks like it's going to have to be a farm, which is nothing. That's not going to work. Research or research. I could spend some. Let's have a look. Can we get any march speed? Stirrups. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this one. There we are. That's a little bit more for my cavalry march. Let's now go up here. We're not in an alliance. Go into season one, immigrate. I can I can live with 32,000. And we're gonna delete. If you happen to be watching my channel and you're in this kingdom, please send me some resources because I've been zeroed. Confirm, immigrate, and let's have a little look what's going on. I've had a look at the top alliance. They're not stunning, but hopefully they'll let me in and we'll be able to have a bit of fun. And I just need something to help me engage with the game, as I am feeling a bit depressed about my main account. Uh, but I always knew I wasn't going to be important. I'm not that type of free to play, but here we are. And let's go straight into the monument. Where's the monument? 
the best bit about migrating. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Lots of rewards. How we get this account back on its feet? Perhaps I'll make a farm for it. But uh, I now obviously have the PC. I can blue stack farms. Uh, so I might do that. But then again, I'm not. This is nice. It's a full set. What else have we got? So I seem to be lagging a little bit. So I think I'm going to end the video here as I find my feet in this new kingdom. Uh, I'm very low on troops at the moment because they all got killed. Um, but what I have got is 100,000 in the hospital uh, repairing. And of course, I've got that special gift for getting zeroed, which is, where is it? 8,605 minute speed ups, which is certainly going to hopefully get me back to uh, a cavalry march at least. So thanks for watching. That's a Logic Bank back. And let's hope we have some fun with this new account or this old account even, this looper. And for me to carry on grinding my main account. Thanks for watching.